Whoa, yeah, I need a new camera. That's my light. Whoa, too bad, too dark, too light, too dark, too light. <sighs> this is gonna be a quick review because it is almost 11 o'clock here. I'm tired, and but it's so important. It's World Cup time, and we're gonna do our best here at New World Cricket to give you the best coverage possible. We're gonna be talking about the game with the Houston Hurricanes, who are a minor league team against Nepal. You guys know how much I love Nepal. This will be a one-sided review since, you know, covering the Houston Hurricanes won't really serve us anything. Um, I'm not sure like any Houston Hurricanes fans are going to be like, oh man, talk about my team. I, You know, it's hard to find information on this game, but I do know that this was played in Prairie View Cricket Complex, the same place where United States have been dominating. What is that right there? Been dominating for the past uh, six games. It's been pure domination from the United States, and I expect to nothing less. But what you'll notice about this field is that it's very dry. It's very bouncy. Um, there's been, you know, some crazy weather reports coming in. You know, there was a derecho coming in uh, the week before. Uh, it got swamped. The field uh, was in very poor condition where all the temporary storage and stuff was like completely destroyed after the Canada series. Oh my God. And so um, I find that hilarious. So, you know, this is a unique field, I would say. And so all of the the uh, games have been very low scoring affairs. We saw that with the United States versus Bangladesh, you know, not even getting close to the 200 mark. Uh, I'm not even sure if any game between USA and Canada have reached, uh, had reached the 200 mark um, in the previous week, but it's tough for batters. And it's really good for spin bowlers. But as you'll notice, uh, Nepal, I think, struggled with their pace bowlers. Uh, specifically, um, what's his name? Specifically, uh, Avinash Bohada. I thought he was uh, re really struggling today, had a really bad economy rate. And so what worries me is that if you're struggling against, you know, the minor league team, you know, what's going to happen when you're facing Bangladesh? I know they, you know, haven't been doing well, but they're much better than than a minor league uh, team. So um, again, another thing. So it's that it's the it's the speed bowling. I call it fastballs because I am into baseball, you know, so the fastballers and um, the opening lineup it was really, really disappointing. And so we had an opening lineup of Sompal Kami and um, no, we didn't of Asif Sheikh and Kushal Bartel. And I am just so disappointed in Kushal Bartel. I love him. I, I have so much hope for him. And he went one run off of six balls. And that's just totally unacceptable as an opener. Completely unacceptable. And Asif Sheikh went uh, four for six. So this is the opening lineup that we were used to seeing in the Premier um, Cup. And um, just so disappointing that you're seeing this against, you know, not even a national team doing this. And so I maybe maybe this team is comparable to, you know, Malaysia. This team might be comparable to, you know, those teams that were in the ACC Premier Cup. But it's just really disheartening to see them get caught out so fast and have such poor strike rates. Uh, after they got out, we had Anil Shah and Big Daddy Rohit Paudel. But the thing with Nepal is you can't always depend on Big Daddy Rohit to save the day. And he basically did save the day today he went 23 for 18 a solid performance you know in this field uh anil shot was definitely the batter of the game he went 47 for 38 so after that you basically have a slew of batters school Sanja, sundeep joda kushal mala that just produce and nothing more. They produce their 20 runs and then they're out. And that was enough for, for Nepal to win today, but it might not be enough for Nepal to win going forward. And that's the thing that really worries me. Um, again, being totally biased for Nepal, I think is okay in this match because we're talking about a minor league team. Um, and so, yeah, the scores were, were extremely, extremely low. I got my notes right here. It's hard to follow these games because they don't have any stats on ESPN Crick Info. Um, Dependra Singh did not play, and so he was a notable absence. I wonder how bad of an injury he has. Um, I thought it was very minor, so I don't know if he's just resting, you know, and just maybe coming into the next game tomorrow, or if they're just trying different things. Um, Nepal's bat bowling was 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 good. You expect it to be good. But there was a few problem points, and those few problem points were a Abhinash Bohada. Um, this isn't my original idea, but I was watching um, sports and etc. And he said, "Dude, there!" And I translated it into uh, 
from Hindi to English. And he says, you know, I'm a pace bowler and I see pace bowlers run up to the crease and, you know, Abhinash Bohara is having trouble with this. And um, I think he's got a point because oh, he got rocked today. Uh, 38 runs. He only got one wicket with economy of 9.5, especially on this, on, on this ground with this wicket is definitely concerning. And then you also have um, Gulshan Ja. He only bowled one over, but he got rocked uh, nine runs. And then it was um, uh, caught on uh, KC. Uh, three overs led in 21 runs. So uh, the spin bowlers for Nepal did really well. Um, and then this is a super spinny field. So you expect things like that. So um, yeah, a lot of good things to say for Nepal, but I'm actually really worried. And and they did a, a super over at the end of this game. I didn't see it. I fell asleep. Um, I know this was in the middle of the day, but um, I've been so tired. And um, it says Nepal and Houston Hurricanes played a super over after the game. Houston made 15 runs um, against Abinash Bohada. Again, he got rocked in the super over. I'm kind of glad that it happened. Um, and then it says um, Kushal Malal smacked two balls for a maximum and a boundary in the fourth ball to seal the victory. So they did a super, super over just for shits and giggles. And it turned out um, that Nepal won uh, chasing 15 runs. So that's that's good news. So some good things to say, some bad things to say, even though Nepal won. Uh, there's a lot to be concerned about. So we'll just have to wait and see next game. We'll be following it. We'll be following all these games. We'll be covering all the Associate Nations on this channel. So like and subscribe. You got your boy covering you in English. And this is going to be the best uh, English language coverage of Associate Nations on YouTube. So check it out. Okay. Me and all the butterflies in the back here. Peace.